Hello guys, this is Adam and welcome to the Adam Lab. Today we will be testing something interesting and that is the power mode for the 16 inch MacBook Pro M1 Max. So simply what I will do, test a project using Unreal Engine. However, the power profile, instead of being on automatic, it will actually be on high power. And I don't know why you would want to put it on low power, but to each their own. For the machine that we are working with, we have 64 gigabyte of RAM and eight terabyte of SSD because you need to store your anime somewhere. And then when it comes to the GPU and the CPU, they are the highest. The CPU is the 10 core CPU and the GPU is the 32 core GPU. After putting the machine actually into high power, you can see it will start using all the cores and it will start using the majority of your GPU as well and the CPU cores, all of them will be used. However, that will not be the case when you go into low power. We will go ahead and run this uh, project. I can tell already that this is running better than without having power mode into uh, high power because we are getting 60 frames usually actually i am when i am in this spot i get something like 20 frames right now it jumps really quickly to 40 frames and 60 frames but this is not scientific too much so what i will do i will just come here and be looking at that and we are averaging right now 43 frames what i will do go ahead and then change the power mode to automatic and by changing to automatic we have lost a three frames so when you actually go to high power it would give you a better performance because we started dipping from 43 average to 39 average 40 so we lost some frames and then if you can see right here we are shutting down the 10th core and the 9th core and the 8th core they are slowing down rather when you go with the high power mode it will be using everything and what i will do right now is i will close this project and then open another project that i have test how the build time would be when we are on low power mode compared to a high power mode build so right now it's building the lighting we are at 100 percent done so that took 10 seconds which is by the way still amazing now what we will do we'll change to high power and then with high power everything should now be used now the fans started kicking when we went into high power mode because the gpu started being used completely so let's go ahead so three two one here we go so, holy bananas okay three building lighting and done okay so it took seven seconds but i was a little bit slow because i got surprised it actually took seven seconds to build the project when it comes to high power mode and then if we go ahead and take a look all the cpu cores are being used because it used to be on the lower end right now it's on the higher end and then the fans started kicking in and everything started taking place when it comes to the frame rate we are averaging right now 49 frames and it's stable at that what i will do i will go ahead and change it to automatic and with the automatic mode we are started to dip 47 and instead of sticking an average of 49 so it's again around a two frame to two uh, to three frames lost is that a big advantage i think the biggest advantage we have is in terms of building a project and not the other way around that is the test i definitely recommend um having it as a default for uh, high power however you do have a battery option and you do have power adapter option 
So when your machine is connected to a power adapter, I would have it set to high power. So every time you're connected to a power outlet, it will go into high power mode. However, on battery, I would have it set to automatic because you need to reserve the battery life that you are having for your, your machine. And mostly when you are connected to a power outlet, you will be working from home or you are a stationary position, which you will be doing more than just browsing the internet or whatever that might be. Therefore, a high power mode would definitely be beneficial keep in mind the high power mode is only on the 16 inch macbook pro models with that this is everything that i have for today and i will see you tomorrow take care and bye bye